Traeger pellet grills. I've had this pellet grill for, we've had it for over 10 years and uh, really like it. Uh, it needs to be cleaned. It could use a coat of paint, but anybody that's looking at getting a new barbecue or, or smoker or a barbecue smoker combo, this is, this is the first ones. Uh, there's some coffee cats now, but so what it does, it feeds. Oh man, I was zoomed up too much. Sorry. It feeds, there's an auger down here, and this is a really old one, so it just has the three speeds, high, medium, and smoke. And the new ones actually you can adjust the temperature, but usually you have it on high if you're grilling anything, smoke it on smoke. I've used medium when I've done turkeys. We've, we used to do a turkey every year, and um, I haven't done one for a while on here but uh, it has tin foil under here and then then there's a baffle and then the flame is under underneath there and the flame is what this generates I mean the heat is from generated from burning the pellets and the speed of the auger is what what regulates the heat now this is a really old one it has a, a roll top kind of cool and then it's got storage underneath and uh, and another bin, empty bin there for pellets if you want. And it's kind of why we got it. We, uh, we really like it. My wife loves it. So it's just about impossible to burn something. You can overcook it, but uh, to actually burn it, no. And I smoke, I've made jerky in it. I've uh, definitely, I've smoked a lot of fish in it. Now, we also have this Bradley uh, a friend gave me to use, and uh, it's it's good for smoking. It's better. It's easy to regulate and stuff. You can't get a lot in it, but it's it's great. Here's my cat. So, it's a nice day. I thought it would be a good time to smoke a, a bull trout that we caught this summer, and so I, I'll show you that when I put it on. So to turn it on, you just do this, and then it turns on a, the auger and a little igniter that gets red hot and starts the pellets on fire. And so that's that. And once the once the fire starts, usually salmon I will put on high for a little bit, and then turn it right to smoke. And uh, you can pretty much let it smoke for as long as you want. The salmon that I cook anyways, uh, or salmon or uh, uh, bull trout, kokanee salmon. So anyways, I will uh, pause this and go get the fish. So I know this looks more like pizza than trout or salmon, but I filleted it. The skin left the skin on down and you can either put this right on the grill or put it on tin foil it's just a little bit easier to get off if you have it on tin foil and then the skin just sticks to the tin foil usually um, what it is this is called Asiago my dog is drinking right now which this mic might pick up anyways it's called uh, maple bacon Asiago salmon in this case it's trout and what i use is i put a little bit of lemon pepper on first then some bacon pieces of bacon real bacon that's cooked and then sprinkle a little bit of asiago cheese on it and then once it's cooked for a little bit then i'll i'll put some maple syrup on it uh, you can also put brown sugar on before the bacon bits if you would like it sweeter or if you like brown sugar rather than maple syrup if you don't have maple syrup. And this time I used Parmesan cheese, fresh Parmesan. Uh, I didn't feel like grating Asiago. Asiago melts better. Uh, now we'll go back to the grill. 
So it has a temperature thermometer on this side and it just tells you the temperature of the air inside the grill. It doesn't tell the temperature of the meat, but you can get a remote one, of course. Now it's just firing up, so if some smoke is coming out. Turn the light on, you can see. That is smoke. Uh, at first it'll smoke quite a bit, and then um, once once it's fired and on high, it doesn't really generate any smoke, just heat. Until you turn it back down to smoke, then it'll generate smoke. Yeah, we haven't had any trouble with it the last 10 years. Oh, the pellets, you can get different kind of pellets. You can get apple, cherry, wood, mesquite hickory maple and it's kind of expensive it's about a dollar a pound for the pellets but and you don't need any propane the pellets yeah that it looks really bad on camera because the paint is is uh, kind of burnt off there but but I can get some barbecue paint it's pretty nice out it is zero Celsius so I'm talking about the pellets, and uh, they can, you need hardwood, 100% hardwood, but you can get stove pellets. I wouldn't recommend this if you have a new one that's on warranty, but we've used them. The smoke flavor isn't quite as good because you're getting, it's hardwood, but you don't know what it is. If it's a combination of maple, or hickory, Sometimes it's better than others. So, anyways, uh, that's we get that from Canadian Tire, and uh, we've we've had good luck. I mean, it's way, way, way cheaper, but depends on how much you're grilling. Too, if you're just grilling on high, it's fine. If you're smoking, you can really see the smoke coming out of there now. It's got a little vent on top. The other ones have little chimneys, kind of cool, and then it vents out the back. You can see the smoke stains on that, the old siding of this 100-year-old house. Okay, thanks again for watching. That was the video on a Traeger grill and maple bacon, Asiago, salmon, bar trout. Those are pictures of Waterton in the wintertime. It was 40 below when we took those pictures and I uh, made them turned them into black and white but it's kind of a neat place to go to in the winter time because it's like a ghost town okay once again thanks for watching